Hi, Harm here. I'm going to try dry baking again using the Betty Crocker Simply Add Water Muffin Mixes. This time I'm making the uh, chocolate chip again. Uh, this Also, this time I'm going to use the full batch. A couple of things I want to try different though on this. I'm still going to use the Ollie Camp 1 quart stainless steel kettle set. But instead of using the carbon felt on the bottom, I'm going to go back to my muffin fan stand. See if this works a little better. The last time I tried uh, making muffins, that's already lit. They burned a little bit. Not much, but a little. I think part of my problem is I'm trying to do it too fast. So I'm going to have this simmering slowed way down. Let this heat up a little bit. I'm also making the full batch, so I'm using that bigger cake pan I have. This is four inches by two and a half inches tall. Greased up and the batter's put inside. Just drop that down in here. Okay, it looks like I might have to open that up a little bit. As this goes, you have to uh, play around with the simmering because the thermal feedback makes it really go wild. Okay, so let's see how long this takes. All right, we're at 31 minutes. That looks like it's cooking, but I don't think it's done. Let me check here. Nope. <coughs> Excuse me. So this will take a little bit longer. Now the thing is, I guess I was just rushing this before. When you look at the mix, <coughs> it says it should take 16 to 21 minutes in an oven at 400 degrees. Now that's for six smaller muffins. This is one big muffin, so it's just going to take longer. So I'll be back in about 35 minutes or 36, and let's see where it is there. Okay, there we are, a little over 40 minutes. Looking good. Let's see what happens when I stick a toothpick in. Well, looks like it might be done now. So 40 minutes. Let me take this out. Take this off. See if I can show you about how high, how big I had the uh, simmering to. Ah, I knew that would happen. It was only open. Come on. Anyway, it, I narrowed it down quite a bit. Let me put that out. <coughs> okay, now comes the hardest part of baking. Have to let this set here for a couple of minutes so that it releases from the pan. And I'll be right back. Okay, I've let this set for a couple of minutes. Which, believe me, wasn't an easy thing to do. The smell in here is great. Okay, it looks like it's pulled away from the sides, which is what we want it to do. Let's see what happens when I go to dump it out. Oh, there we go. Right out. That piece you see there, I think, is a, yeah, it's a chocolate chip. So not bad. Nice and brown. I guess... This is the equivalent of six muffins, it says. It's a full packet. So it looks like there's just no rushing it. It's going to take a little bit of time. In this case, what, 40 minutes. But it's nice and brown, not burned. Let me take my new culinary knife, my GSI culinary knife that I got from uh, Cabela's yesterday. Cut this open. Nice. All nice and done inside. Looks like all the chocolate chips went to the outside edge for some reason. Okay, so that's 
the Betty Crocker <clears throat> chocolate chip muffin mix, the Just Add Water ones. I like these. They're handy. Cooking it in the Ollie Camp one quart stainless steel kettle set, they call it. I call it a cook set, but they call it a kettle set. Stainless steel lets the uh, heat travel around a whole lot better, it seems, than the aluminum foil. And in this case, I used the muffin guard fan, the muffin fan guard, rather, as a standoff. If I took longer, maybe I could still use these carbon felt pads. But that's dry baking muffins. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. Except I know what to do with these. And it, uh, anyway, I thank you for watching. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. Mm, muffins.